Hi everybody, my name is Swati Man. I'm a dentist and I welcome you all to my channel. Well, new lifestyle and modernization has introduced us to so many new gadgets and cool things every day. There is a new trend coming in the market and there are many people who are bound to follow that. Today I'm going to talk about one of those new inventions or very cool things, what we call as vapes or e-cigarettes. I'm going to talk about what's the real difference between traditional form of smoking and e-cigarettes. And of course, I'm going to eventually talk about what's the impact of vaping on the oral health and on your teeth. So let's talk about what's the main difference between the traditional form of smoking and vaping or the use of e-cigarettes. In both the ways of smoking, there is one common component and one common ingredient, which is nicotine. So with the traditional form of smoking, there is the plant derived nicotine in a granular form. And when you light your uh, uh, traditional cigarette, it burns the nicotine, which creates smoke, which goes into the body, lungs. And also it creates tar and carbon monoxide, which is extremely harmful for us as well. Now, when we compare this to vaping or the use of e-cigarettes, there is nicotine, but there is a soluble form of nicotine, which is a synthetic nicotine because it's dissolved in the second ingredient, which is the water. Third, they have vegetarian glycerin. Number four, they have propylene glycol. Number five, they have a flavoring agent because, of course, you can choose your flavor when you, when you, when you vape. So here, when you light your e-cigarette, when, when you start your e-cigarette, it creates aerosol because there is a water inside it and those aerosol go inside your body and give you the effect of nicotine. So it's not producing the tar and carbon monoxide which is being produced by the traditional cigarette because you are burning the nicotine compared to the way where you are gradually heating the nicotine. So if we see this part of smoking, that is absolutely correct that this is less harmful compared to the smoking, traditional smoking. So I'm, what I mean to say is vaping is less harmful compared to the traditional cigarettes, but it's not safe for the body because at the end of the day, what's going inside your body is nicotine. And we know that nicotine cannot do any good to your body. It creates high blood pressure. It affects your heart. It affects your brain, it affects the way you respond, it affects your mood and many other ways. So I wouldn't say vaping is safe, vaping is not safe, but yes, it is less harmful compared to the traditional smoking. So let's talk about teeth now and let's talk about the effect of vaping on our teeth and our oral health. We are all aware that cigarette smoking or traditional form of smoking is not beneficial in any way to our teeth, but let's highlight what vaping does to our teeth. Number one, it creates stains. So that makes your enamel more discolored and nicotine is responsible for that. So the patients who are vaping or the people who are vaping, they tend to have more discoloration of enamel, hence leading to cosmetic concerns. Number two, nicotine decreases the blood flow of the gums, which means your gums are not getting enough protection, leading to more gum problems and gum recession. Nicotine decreases the salivary flow, leading to dry mouth. And we all know dry mouth means to say more problems in the mouth, more soreness in the mouth, more plaque, more cavities, more gum recession, more bleeding of gums. Another ingredient in the e-cigarettes, which is propylene glycol and the glycerin, when you smoke the cigarette, uh, e-cigarette, it creates a sticky material inside the mouth. It's like a viscous, muddy material inside the mouth which changes your bacterial flora, which means it creates more harmful bacteria inside the mouth, leading to more cavities, leading to more gum problems. So in general, if I say vaping is not really safe for the mouth, this is a very commonly asked question by my patients that look, I've quit smoking, I'm vaping now. Is it safe for my mouth? Well, my answer will be no. It will be slightly less harmful compared to smoking, but it's not really safe for your mouth and also for your teeth. Still, we got to make sure that we take our steps towards quitting smoking completely. Vaping is not considered as quitting smoking. So that was my video about the comparison or the difference between vaping and smoking. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me the message in the comment section. I will try and get back to you. And I thank you all for watching my video and I will look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.